Well, Kamala Camilla thinks she's a hottie Harris, has rolled out her economic plan. It's so bad that even the New York Times ran a headline yesterday that went something like this. If your opponent is calling you a communist, don't propose price controls. Boom. So now we have a new name for Kamala. She is Kami Kamala. Oh, and by the way, Biden's back on the campaign trail. Supposedly campaigning for Harris, with Harris, some Democrats are a little upset about that. They're worried that it's going to remind the American people that she is a part of this complete disaster that we call the U.S. economy right now. But I think there's something else at play here. What if old Joe makes a play to get his delegates back at the convention? Oh, baby. Uh, let's get her. the truth. Welcome to the Afternoon Drive. Yours truly, Pastor Marty, with you. Thank you so much for joining us. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. And once you are, smack the bell, click the word all. That will give you a notification of my rants, my ravings, my undeniably flawless reasonings. Please like and share this video. That's the way that we get the word out that we're here. Welcome to the Afternoon Drive. So after being the heir apparent, the Democratic nominee because of this supposed groundswell of support, according to Chuck E. G. Schumer, Kamala Harris, who is the presumptive nominee of the Democrat Party, rolled out her economic plan finally on Friday, and basically nothing there that actually stimulates the economy and gets the economy actually working. You know, when you roll back regulation so that it's easier for businesses to do business, no incentives for U.S.-based companies to bring everything that was farmed out to places like China back, and even the threat of maybe some penalty, if they don't, to get everything back in America, you know, make America great again, instead of doing anything that actually incentivizes any of that, Kamala basically does the straight Democrat slash communist playbook. Punish the producers. Punish the producers. Punish the producers. We're going to punish you if you charge X for your product. Remember now, these are the same people that took a look at Mar-a-Lago, where Donald Trump resides, and valued it at $18 million, and that Donald Trump, in using it as collateral to obtain other loans for other projects, was overinflating its value, despite the fact that other properties right around Mar-a-Lago go for, you know, 100 million, 200 million, even for vacant lots. But Donald Trump oversessed Mar-a-Lago. You see how these people are? You know, they're going to just tell Coca-Cola, well, your product's only worth a quarter. It's, it's, it's amazing that, that, that she, with a straight face, and of course, she, she babbled through it. She had trouble staying coherent through it. Uh, nothing that she proposed is going to help people. What she's hoping is that the low-information voter and minority voters are going to hear that, oh, well, because Kamala is going to fix the prices, it'll be cheaper for us when we go to the grocery store. But here's how economics works, boys and girls. These companies won't be able to make and produce what they make and produce if things are set at a price control. So when you get to the supermarket... The money you thought you were going to save, well, you're really going to save because the shelves will be empty. You know when communist Russia began to prosper and boom? When they adopted capitalist free market economy principles. It did not flourish under communism. Look, a lot of people have Vlad Putin figured out wrong and that they think he wants to return Russia and regather all the Russian states that went independent like Ukraine and bring them back under the dominance of the Soviet Union. No, Putin likes being rich. 
And Putin likes his country prospering because it puts him in a position of great power in negotiation on the world table with places like China and India and uh, oil-producing Arab nations. And there are plenty of videos out there on YouTube of people who live in Russia just taking you for a stroll a day in a life in a place like Moscow. They've got literally dozens and dozens of shopping malls with hundreds if not thousands of stores. Everything is busy. Everything is robust. It isn't propaganda film being put out. These are just people like you and me with their cell phones walking around filming and things in Russia economically are rocking and rolling. Why? Because they have a free market system. Putin is an imperialist. He wants his empire put back together, but he doesn't want to return to Soviet communism. That was the death knell to Russia. But of course, Kamala, who I'm sorry, and I know we're not we're just supposed to talk about policies, don't talk about the person. She's not overly bright. She really isn't. She she's not the the, the in the box. And <laughs> I'll, I'll get a comment for that. Um, she's just she's just not terribly swift. So she doesn't understand that what she's saying is actually a death knell and it will it will wipe out, it will destroy the people that she says she's going to help. Poor people. But you know, that really is the dirty little plan of the deep state. To force us into so much debt that the economy actually collapses so they can roll in and save the day by declaring cash a thing of the past and now it's digital Bitcoin. Bum, ba -dum -bum. And you will have to have the official mark in order to be able to do it. You guys that thought all these Bible preachers talking about the mark was, was all a bunch of nonsense, it, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Are, are you paying attention? So Kami Kamala rolls out her economic plan, and it's really just a lot of Bidenism with now we have somebody who has a smile and laughs. Okay, there you go. But Joe is out on the campaign trail. Some Democrats are upset about this because they feel that he's going to be a continual reminder of that debate debacle and the fact that he's not coherent and the fact that he's got cognitive issues, et cetera, et cetera. But he was doing a press conference yesterday and he was asked about, hey, inflation has slowed to 2.9%. And he said, I told you, it's a soft landing, just like I predicted. Why don't you write about that? In other words, Zig Hoyle, you know, ordering the media what to say about him. But uh, in reality, here's what they're celebrating. Hey, groceries are still 35% higher than they were when Donald Trump was president. But this month we expected Starbucks coffee to cost you about $7.18 a cup. Now it's only going to be $7.17 a cup. See? See, see, it's working. <laughs> but beyond that, you know, Joe, when he does make the occasional appearance, looks look a little spry, a little sharp. Nancy Botox Pelosi is, without coming out and saying it, she's taking her victory lap for, I got rid of him. I got him step aside. I blackmailed him. I muscled him. Um... Um, Michael Franzi, who's, you know, the, the ex-mafia guy who's got a, uh, a great podcast, a YouTube channel, basically said that Nancy Pelosi is a mafia boss. You do know that she has connection to the mafia, right? That her father was actually in the mafia. Yeah, it's one of those little stories that the lying legacy corporate corrupt mainstream media is never going to talk about, but that's true. So Nancy comes from that, you know, mafia mindset where we're all familiar, we're family, we love each other until you cross us, then we'll knife you in the back. And that's Nancy, and that's just what she did to old Joe. Now, that said, as she takes this victory lap, Joe is reportedly seething and still angry that this happened to him. What if, Just I'm just what ifing right now, it, it's, you know, it's Saturday. What if? He decides at the convention to say, yeah, you know what? 
I've reconsidered it. I want my delegates back. I'm going for it. Now, they probably won't give it back, but it could create enough chaos at the convention, exactly what the Democrats don't want to happen. Now, I'm not saying Joe's going to do that, but wouldn't it be something if he did? I assume that whatever it is that they've got on him, that they used as blackmail to get him to back down, it's got to be pretty potent. But again, doesn't that just show you these 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 Democrats, these these absolute uh, vile sleaze bags that they are, and that they'll lecture us day and night on we have to protect democracy from Donald Trump, but they were willing to allow a guy who is mentally, cognitively not able to function and do the job. They were perfectly willing for him to stay as long as the American people were kind of stupid about it and didn't understand really what was going on. Once the American people figured it out and they knew it was going to be a guaranteed landslide loss, then he had to go. And as they lecture us about democracy and Donald Trump is the convicted felon and yada, yada, blah, 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 puke. Um... What is it that Nancy has on Joe that she was able to say, if you stay in the race, I will expose you? You know, was it the 25th Amendment, really? Because that would have been a, a fight up on Capitol Hill that would have taken a while. And not every Democrat would have, would have immediately signed off on, yeah, let's 25th Amendment this guy. And the Republicans surely would have made sure that that got dragged out and was out there in the campaign while Donald Trump was sailing to victory. So it wasn't, Joe, if you don't, if you don't step down, we're going to 25th Amendment. Was it, was it, you know, what they've got on uh, Hunter? I doubt it. Because, you know, again, you can't think of the Biden family like you would a normal family where when, you know, you have a child that's in trouble, you as the parent sometimes will, you know, you will anguish over the trouble that your adult child is in. Uh, Joe Biden is, remember, this is a guy that showered with his teenage daughter. Okay? Okay? It's a guy that was willing to steal another man's wife after his wife died because he was lonely, he wanted companionship, and uh, Dr. Jill's husband, you take a hike, she's mine now. This is the kind of family that was rolling their father, their husband out there day after day after day on the campaign trail when he was clearly not up to it. So, no, I don't think it was what they threatened to do to Hunter Biden. They've obviously got something real on him that he doesn't want exposed. but yet he ought to have his face on Mount Rushmore. And then what Nancy said, they lie, lie, lie. They have the most corrupt people representing their party and wanting to be El Presidente of the United States. And as long as they play the game with the party, they get lifted to sainthood. And the moment they get out of line, the nod is given and the media begins to destroy them. And Donald Trump is the threat? Oh, baby. It's going to be an interesting week as we head into the Democrat convention. Joe Biden feeling his oats a little bit, and Kamala now officially outing herself as the communist that she is, which is great because her socialist governor sidekick walls continues to erode, and if you're looking at the real polls from Rasmussen and others, Donald Trump is still winning, and he's building his lead back up. Again, keep flushing Kamala out, make her speak, because the honeymoon is over.